Hello my crafty friends. It's Nikki here again. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making a fun Easter card using this girl from the Beautiful You stamp set from Stamping Up and sentiments from the Easter Wishes set from Echo Park. I just got this in the mail. And we're going to set this little lady and I'm going to die cut a stitched rectangle. And the paper I'm using is from Bow Bunny, appropriately, since it's Easter. And it's called Back to Back. I just found this in my stash. I thought the colors were really pretty. And I'm going to be coloring her today. I'm going to use the Tuxedo Black Memento Lux because I'm going to be using my Stampin' Blends. I've got Light Daffodil and Light Calypso Coral. And I think I'm going to do her hat in fuchsia, in a bright, bright fuchsia. Trying to decide fuchsia or a just a brighter yellow. Well, let's do a brighter yellow. It will match the little peep of uh, petticoat. So we've got the dark daffodil and the light daffodil. Okay. So let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start by stamping my girl onto, onto some white cardstock with the Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. You'll see later I'm going to take a big risk, but I think it'll be worth it. Okay, let's put her right in the middle so we have plenty of room for the die. Okay. Okay, very nice. Nice crisp image. Okay, put that aside. Okay, and we will color our girl. We will use the Calypso Coral for her dress. The fine tip. Well, I guess we could use the brush tip. I'm not gonna bother with any shading. I think this is perfect. We got a little bit of smearing, which I'm not sure why. Because we're supposed to be able to use Tuxedo Black. She's so pretty and so happy. I think this is perfect for an Easter card. It's a very pretty happy time. In most parts of the country, maybe. <laughs> Not too much snow. And Kate, and we're going to do her hat. Oh, let's do the petticoat and light daffodil with the fine tip. Okay, and then we'll do do her hat in the dark daffodil. And we'll also add, see, it's running, and I'm not sure why. It's really interesting. Okay, now I will also sparkle that up with some clear Wink of Stella. Yeah, it's just, it's kind of smeary. I'm not sure what's going on. And then we will use, huh, I had the ivory out a minute ago. What happened to it? 
I was going to use ivory for her skin. Huh. No, that's like pumpkin pie. There it is, I think. Let me see. Yep, there's ivory. It ended up back in my box for some reason. All right, let's do the fine tip here. So there's our little lady, and we will cut her out with the die cut, with the die, let's see, like so. Okay. Vagabond. I run it back and forth just because it's easier. All right, let's hope this does not tear at the bottom, but I do have a solution for that too. If it does, not too big of a deal. Okay. Oh, it looks like we might have a little trouble. Yeah. Just a little bit, but like I said, we have a solution for that. I have a piece of um, Blossom Bride ribbon that I can put at the bottom. But first we're going to color the background blue. I'm using Distress Ink with a lot of water. So I'm going to be very careful. I mean, it already smeared, so I don't know how, how it could get any worse. But just really light, um, loose, just to give some color. Beautiful blue sky. And then, of course, the differences in color variants would be pretty, too. We'll just do blue all over. Why not? Okay. Okay, we'll let that dry. And meanwhile, we will stamp our sentiments. I have Shake Your Bunny Tail, which is going to go on the inside. And Wishing You Easter. I am so sorry about that. Um, I got a phone call and it kicked me completely off. It kind of misled me because it looked like it went back to the video picture so I just went on and on and not realizing that it was off until I saw my home page so anyway I went ahead and finished I popped her up on foam tape I put the ribbon on I stamped wishing you Easter happiness in peekaboo peach which I had in my stash and then I put nouveau drops on on this sentiment to tie in with the yellow and there is yellow centers in the flowers on the pattern paper then on the inside I just now put these new drops let's see what happens 
on the inside, put shake your bunny tail, and I stamped two more little stamps that were in the set. And so there's my Easter card. Again, I apologize that I lost all that footage. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. You all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.